what you're doing a lot of people are either at home or in the workplace uh, by themselves and you have a chance to look around you realize you know something this could really new some up, need some updating and could use some updating and that's the reason we have Darius Jackson uh, the manager over at show Clay, show place cabinetry joining us on the line right now Darius how are you doing buddy I'm doing good sir how are you this morning good. No, where, where are you located right now I'm actually in the in my beautiful showroom that you know for the moment we aren't allowing people to come and see but uh, hopefully here in the next couple months we'll have be able to have people come back in and see all the work we've done in here now Darius are you finding that people are, are calling you or contacting you saying you know what I'm spending a lot of time at home now and boy I could use some updating here and how can you help me out and the question is can you help them out well, uh, we, we do still have people that are inquiring, um, so that's positive. Um, and yes, we definitely can help them out. Uh, we've completely converted um, the staff's ability to work virtually. So um, we've every, all the staff, all the designers now have a Zoom link. Um, and if you know anything about Zoom, that also will allow you to share your screen so they can show the designs to the clients just as if they were sitting here in the showroom. Um, out on Facebook right now, we have a virtual questionnaire. So anybody that's interested in uh, starting the process of, of a kitchen remodel or bath remodel, basically any place you can put cabinets, um, they can go in out and fill that questionnaire out uh, and then uh, send that, we'll assign a designer, that designer will reach out to them um, and they'll start the process virtually. So. Now, uh, you mentioned uh, the, the virtual, uh, you know, it, it's really, you could call this a, a virtual consultation here. Are people showing you what their rooms look like and what their cabinets look like now by, like, turning the screen and showing that, too? Or how, how does that, that all work? That, that actually has become a, a un, what, what unexpected benefit of this particular situation. So now the designers don't necessarily have to go out and evaluate the space in person. That person, if they have a, a camera phone or what have you, can actually, yeah, just turn around and say, okay, this is what we're looking at. Um, and it actually helps the designers to move that process along a little faster than, like I said, having to arrange time to go, let's say that client is 30 minutes away. Now that, travel time is eliminated from that conversation. Well, I was gonna ask you how it did uh, expedite the process and that could expedite the process all the way around too because you have to consider the travel time, you have to consider getting everything transferred from what you uh, observed and what you want mm -hmm. to put in order in and they could just do that all at once and then get that order yeah. processing. Um, how long does it usually take if somebody uh, just wants to redo the cabinet say in their in their kitchen area or in their storage area, what's a usual turnaround time uh, to get that all created and then the start the process of installation well we um, currently now obviously because things are a little slower um, the turnaround time for placing an order to that order shipping is about four weeks so we generally tell most of our customers that are in this process that you should plan um, depending on your contractor schedule that you should plan from anywhere from six weeks to two months to go from start to finish Okay, so this is definitely a project that can be done uh, before the summer's over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I'm thinking um, that uh, on the other side of the quarantines, um, you know, people, like you said, have spent time in their houses, spent time in their kitchens and go, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't want to do this again for next Christmas. So, you know, now, especially while it's a little quieter, if you want to really dazzle somebody for this Christmas, um, come on and get a hold of us. Like I said, go out on Facebook, go to our uh, website, showplacecabinetry.com, um, and reach out and start the process. All right, tell us a little bit about the 13-inch D-wall cabinets. What are those all about? Um, well, uh, you know, progress doesn't stop just because <laughs> of our situation. And so um, our company is always trying to think of ways to improve um, your experience with our cabinets. So one of the things that they designed was now all of our wall cabinets will come 13 inches deep standard. And uh, one of the main reasonings for that is if you if you have grandmother like mine was, um, and she serves Christmas and so she has these big, beautiful, like 12 inch 
uh, serving plates and dinner plates and what have you. Well, if your cabinets are only 12 inches deep, that creates a problem. So ah. we decided to make a, that's right. So we decided to make them standard a little deeper to accommodate those more formal um, or larger place settings. All right, that was my next question was, how, what, what's a typical depth of a cabinet? Because I, to be honest with you, Darius, I haven't taken a, a ruler to my cabinet and, and figured out how <laughs> deep it was. I will when I get home now to see what it is, because now you got me curious, but the 13 inch deep cabinets, those mm -hmm. are, they will accommodate, like say the, the serving platters that you just mentioned, without having right. to store them sideways somewhere else under the stove exactly. or something. Exactly, exactly. Um, and the uh, here to four, and and all and still in a lot of our competitors, their standard depth for wall cabinet is 12 inches. Right. Okay. So again, you're you're one up on them, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. That is a great to know. Now, wh what's the uh, slim shaker? That sounds interesting. Okay. Again, like I said, you know, always trying to move the conversation forward. Um, we have created. Uh, uh, a new door style that's called a slim shaker. Now, most people in their mind, when they think about a shaker door, you know, it kind of looks like an H, all right? So what we've done is we've taken the rails and the styles, right? So the vertical members and the horizontal members, and we've shrunken them. So now it looks like a skinny H. Okay. <laughs> So, what would that accommodate? What would, what would that be most accommodating for? Well, it's just a it's just a stylistic change. It sort of helps people. It, it, it's more of a transitional style. So, if you're if you don't want to be completely um, shaker, um, uh, you know, uh, or or more. Like I said, more towards a traditional style, mm -hmm. but you don't want to go high gloss and, and shiny um, like a European right. uh, contemporary style. This sort of bridges that gap. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Uh, so you really have so many options and so many different styles that you can create. And do you have all those on your website or on your Facebook page uh, for people to access? Well, we because the amount of combinations between finishes and styles would, would be overwhelming that's probably all we would have on the website okay um, but we do have we do have um, some some indications of those um, like I said we put up um, actual projects on our Facebook um, on a weekly basis so you can see some of the new things that are happening uh, and then if you want to do a virtual consultation we can take and walk you right through the sample wall and you can go oh I like that one there, Stop there. <laughs> So you can walk you can walk them around too like they're walking you around their home you can walk them around yours Absolutely. All right now hey, 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 Darius that that uh, the monitor in front of you the thing that's shooting the the, uh, the image to us is that a laptop or what is that is that a phone? No, that's my um, that's my laptop. Okay, there. all right then, then okay, I want you to, to help us out here. Turn it a little bit so we can see more of your showroom just for a second. Oh, okay, absolutely. You, you, okay, absolutely. Let's go, go back to Darius. There you go. No, no, you can stand in front of it. There, there's more of his showroom here. This is yep, just like yep, the like this is. like the Zoom he's talking about or the Skype. So you can see the whole showroom there. Oh, there's his so coffee see. mug. All right. And see some. Oh, so you can see some <laughs> uh, but but. So you can see. See some of our sample doors back there. Um, this is uh, this is one of our newer uh, installations there. That bar. Okay. That's in that Hickory Cognac we talked about last time I was on. Right. Okay. That's that's very cool. And the bars are yeah. real popular, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. So oh, you, yeah. you can just incorporate that all into it. So that is really cool. So we you can do that at home with the experts over at Showplace Cabinetry and show them your place. Then they could turn around and show you their place. You combine the two. It's perfect. It's virtual and it'll be spot on, won't it, Darius? Absolutely. Uh, all Absolutely. right. Now, where do people uh, get more information about everything you guys have to offer? Where should they go? Well, um, like I said, during the, the while the showroom is closed, uh, we've been asking people to either call us at 515-251-4800, um, and uh, you know if we don't happen to be in the space, we leave a message. A designer will get back to you. Um, you can go out to showplacecabinetry.com. Um, you can look at us, look at some uh, sample examples, um, and you can contact us through that. Or um, we've had real success here recently with people just reaching out. Like I said, we have an online questionnaire on our Facebook page. So you can go out there and fill that out, and that will be sent to us and start the process. And we'll assign a designer and 
to get you going. Get the process started. Darius, thank you so much. Darius Jackson, manager, Showplace Cabinetry. You take care of yourselves. You stay healthy. And Darius, go wash your hands. Absolutely. All right. You do. Thank you, sir. All right, buddy. See you later, man.